welcome to Sam's Camping Videos. And another hot tip, and a series of hot tips about how to conserve resources in your travel trailer while you're boondocking. Today's hot tip will be using battery operated or rechargeable devices to save those RV batteries. Use those devices instead of what was delivered in your travel trailer. So let's get to it! All travel trailers come with a set of delivered 12 volt operated devices and lighting. Now here's one of them, it's a light pad and it uses the RV batteries in your travel trailer. It's about all travel trailers today. They come with some very nice conveniences. And here's an entertainment media center. This runs off of your 12 volt battery system. And you see one of its failings actually in using RV battery power is this mechanical part for CDs and DVDs. Now it is mechanically operated so it will use your RV battery power. This is what you should use as an alternate to your light fixtures in your travel trailer and that is battery operated lanterns. Now this is a pretty good one and uh, it even has a carabiner on top to you could hang it from a ceiling if you have a fixture for doing so. And this one, as you see, it's quite bright. That's on the low setting. That's the high setting. <laughs> Have a couple of these in your travel trailer while you're boondocking. And only use your, the light fixtures that you have. Only when you absolutely have to. These can work pretty good as a replacement for using your light fixtures in your travel trailer. Battery operated lanterns. Now you have many devices which in our modern world of the 21st century we just can't do without anymore. Now when I was growing up camping I didn't have like a Star Trek communicator like I saw in one of my favorite shows when I was a boy, Star Trek. But now we do. We have cell phones now. <laughs> and they have rechargeable batteries, which means they need to be recharged. Do not recharge them from your RV system. You can if you want to, but there's other ways to do that. Use a battery recharging brick as I call them, but they're like a recharging station. This one has, I think, about 17,000 milliamp hours capacity and I recharge all of my phones and other small similar devices like that with this device. See it has two USB ports for charging and when you're at home it has that middle one, the small one there, and that's used for charging him up from your AC power at home. You get a good look at this and uh, he's actually about 16,750 milliamp hour so that was close but the important thing is use a device like this to recharge your phone and other small devices like little mp3 players even tablets can be done off this I have never run out of power on this that he couldn't recharge something of mine on the camping trip. It's at least perhaps two-thirds still full by the time I get home. So don't use your little adapters at the plug-in to your 12-volt system in your travel trailer to recharge your phones and other small devices. Use a rechargeable device like this and you'll save actually lots of RV battery power when you do that. Now another technique you can use to save on recharging power when you're recharging up your favorite smartphone or any other kind of cell phone is to have a spare battery for it. And in my case, I do. I have a spare battery. It came from an older version 
of, of that previous phone that, that I showed you. And this phone is no good, you know, for anything else. Uh, it gets broke, but it, it can still recharge its battery, though, and that's where it comes into play. And that is, uh, if you really have to, to get back online or get back on that phone to call someone back home while you're out camping, but you can't wait for that battery to be recharged, then have this already recharged in like an old broken spare phone that can still, you know, recharge it back up. And this is the only reason why that I bring this along. And that is I can swap out the battery from my current smartphone, stick it in here, and then plug it into that little recharging brick, and then put this battery which is full into my current smartphone and then I'm off and trucking again. Now I'm going to go into alternative battery operated or rechargeable devices that you can use instead of the media center that I showed you earlier in the video and that is bring portable versions of each one of those components with you. So for music I have once again an even older smartphone here and this is like from three phones ago for me with a different carrier it can't make phone calls and it can't receive phone calls or send or receive texts but it can do everything else and how i use it is as a music player so i load music files on this old smartphone you can see it's quite a bit smaller than my and my current phone is, and I'll show you by comparison here. If I can get it in there, there you go. See, see, how much, see, see the difference. But this can play music since my media center here has a Bluetooth uh, capability. I, I don't even need to have a cord coming from this phone to the media entertainment center, so I can play the music off of this through the media center and out through the trailer's internal and also external speakers that I have. Don't use any CDs on your travel trailer's media center CD player. That CD player is a mechanical device and it will use battery power. Now another thing to keep in mind is the volume and your bass settings and other equalizing settings on your entertainment center, if you play music through it, they do affect the usage of your batteries. You should try to use the volume settings from your portable music player as much as you can instead of the volume controls on your Travel Trailers Media Center. The volume controls on your media center and your travel trailer, the higher, louder the sound is, the more electricity that it's going to use. Bass settings on the media center the same way. The more bass you use, the more electricity will be used drawing from your RV batteries. Try to set all those settings on your little portable music player. Now, if you don't want to even use Travel Trailer's uh, audio system, you can get a portable Bluetooth speaker which can play music from your phone or from a dedicated music device like an old phone or an mp3 player. You see, it's small. I'll show it to you. This is brand new. I just purchased it. Haven't used it yet. <laughs> but I brought it along just in case I wanted to play it outside using my alternate music source of my old phone which had music files on it. This way I'm not even using any electricity from my travel trailer system to play music. It's all coming from this rechargeable, the important thing, it's rechargeable. A rechargeable portable Bluetooth speaker. Now for your DVD and Blu-ray playing. Now I don't normally bring a TV with me. So I'm not actually using the DVD function from my Travel Trailers Media Center. So I bring a portable player. It's rechargeable with me. Now here is my rechargeable Blu-ray slash DVD player. 
And you can see there's the part where you put in your disc in there. But once again, I like to try to minimize the use of its battery power as well. So I don't have to in turn uh, recharge it from the travel trailers RV battery system. So what I do instead of playing discs is I do the following. What I use is I have a portable external hard drive and I have like tons of video files on it from TV shows and movies and I play all my video content off this little portable drive because this portable Blu-ray player has a capability that you can plug in a little portable drive into it. So here I've already navigated to a folder with uh, within that hard drive and I've got all these choices from that old HBO series Rome just ready for me to watch and with that I'm not using the mechanical disk drive in this player with that portable blu-ray device that I showed you now that one is a little bit too much to, to be used on that rechargeable power brick that I showed earlier in this video so you've got two choices to make there you can either use a 12 volt adapter from the blu-ray uh, disk drive you know player and plug it into a 12 volt outlet in your travel trailer and have your travel trailer RVs uh, batteries charge it up but this video is about conserving your RV battery powers and not using it to recharge another device which is rechargeable in itself. What I'm going to show you is the Supremo solution that I have for recharging larger rechargeable devices and it can also do some other things unrelated to conserving power in your travel trailer while boondocking. And here's this device. It does a combination of things. It can jump the battery in your car or truck. It can pump air into your tires in your car or truck or into those inflatable toys for your pool or for footballs and basketballs and other toys for children. It can also recharge 12 volt items and AC power items because it's an inverter also. So here I'm using this device to recharge this portable Blu-ray player that I was showing earlier. This Blu-ray player can't be charged up by that little brick and I want to avoid using the battery power in my travel trailer. So I have the inverter mode turned on here. And I've got an AC plug plugged in. There's another one over here. And this device also comes with two 12-volt outlets too if you want to recharge a device using a 12-volt method. It also has a USB port for recharging uh, USB items like your phone or other small USB items like tablets. I also use this for recharging my laptop when I bring it along and I just plug it into I have well I've got two different ways of doing it I have both a 12 volt adapter for my laptop and I've got the AC power adapter as well. So I have a choice of two ways to do my laptop. But I do it off of here. Here you see, you know, it's a, it's a periodic readout of the wattage that it's putting into the device. So this is a, it's a Schumacher device and this is like two or three years old and labeled with instant power it has a light switch which I'll use okay. it has the power outputs which I demonstrated earlier got 12 volt outlets and AC power outlets that makes it a inverter. This device is also charged up from your home power. So 
that's how it gets its initial charge. So you have to charge it up. And to find out how much it has, it says it's got 98%. So when you get home, if you have one of these, you just charge it back up. Now on this particular model, it doesn't have a like a power cord. It has just a pull-out two-prong, not not three-prong, but two-prong AC power, which you'll have to plug in a, a large gauge uh, extension cord to recharge this device up. This is more than worth the money that I paid for it. I use it for a variety of purposes and not just for camping. I use it for topping off the air in my tires every month for my cars and truck and I use it for uh, inflating uh, children's toys or pool floaties and I use it as an inverter if I'm like outside I don't have a convenient uh, power source for my AC plug I use that for that purpose and then finally camping as a way to recharge my larger devices that can't be recharged by the other smaller recharging brick that I showed earlier. It's a Schumacher. I don't have the particulars, but I'll try to put it in the, in the description of this video. There's probably a newer version of it now, so go, go, go with the newer version if it's available. So to summarize today's hot tip regarding other battery-operated and rechargeable devices, and their use in how to conserve power from your 12 volt RV system is use rechargeable devices as much as possible. Use battery operated devices which aren't rechargeable as much as possible. Do not recharge your other devices from your travel trailer's 12 volt system. This way you will conserve battery power in your RV battery system if you have one or two batteries wired in parallel. Use the devices which I showed earlier, which was like a rechargeable brick for smaller devices like phones and MP3 players and other music players. Minimize the use or don't even use the disc player portion of your trailer's delivered media center. Use portable devices for displaying DVDs and Blu-rays, but even best yet, don't even do that and have video files in a portable external hard drive that can plug into your portable Blu-ray player and then use that for your TV watching. Next, minimize the use of volume controls and bass controls and other type of controls that can affect the usage of electricity from your 12 volt system in your travel trailer. Try to control those features from the playing device and not from the receiving device. Finally, you'll need to recharge the larger devices. You may bring a laptop along in that Blu-ray portable player that I was demonstrating earlier. They can't really be recharged from a rechargeable brick setup. So you need something with, with a bit more heft. If you want to really avoid using your battery power in your travel trailer, then get that combination system which I just demonstrated which which can uh, double as an AC inverter as a 12 volt uh, power you know device but mainly that's to be used for recharging larger devices I prefer using the inverter mode for that Schumacher that I just demonstrated earlier that concludes today's hot tip about using battery operated and rechargeable battery operated devices and how to recharge them back up without using the precious electricity reserve that you have in your 12 volt system in your travel trailer while bone docking. The final video in this series of how to conserve your resources while bone docking will be your heating requirements and other options for keeping yourself warm on those cold nights inside your travel trailer. Until then, be safe, have fun, goodbye.